we're five million people in New Zealand. We need to feed ourselves. The risk is if we become too costly to produce this product, it will be imported. We're only as good as those supply chains, be it air or sea, to get product to us. And it wouldn't take much for the economics not to exist and all of a sudden we don't have that food coming to New Zealand. We really need to make sure that the horticulture industry, plus those other primary sectors, are really looked after by New Zealand. We can't rely on other countries to feed New Zealand. We need to take that on ourselves. This is Hamish Alexander, he's the founder, and I'm Blair Morris, the general manager, here at Southern Paprika in Walkworth. We're based just outside of Walkworth, 26 hectares of glasshouse growing predominantly capsicums. We produce just under 7 million kilos of capsicums per year, predominantly for the domestic market, with about 20% exported offshore. Hamish and Robin Alexander started the business as Alexander Cropping Limited. They were growing melons and capsicums, leasing land and field cropping, and they decided the way forward was to put the, the operations under glass. They built a one hectare glass house out at Point Wells, and they switched to predominantly capsicum growing. Hamish and Robin could see the, the opportunity, the market demand that was growing both internationally and domestically, and they could see they needed to scale up. They talked to the Leivart family, which is a third generation marketing company based in Holland, and they decided to create a joint venture, which has developed into what we've got today. If there's going to be more people in the world, we have to produce more food off a lot less area. We've got 26, 27 hectares. You would need hundreds of hectares of field crop to do this. So that's why I strongly believe the glasshouse industry's got a huge future. It's logical. Sustainability is not just environmental, but it's also commercial. It's got to go hand in hand. So every piece of energy or any piece of input that we're using, we're trying to maximise what we do. We're capturing the water from the sky, we're storing it, we're reusing the water, topping it up, feeding it to the plants, recapturing that water and recycling it and going again. The media that they're growing in, plus the strings, plus the leaves, all gets mulched, composted and removed out to the avocado orchard that SPL is a 50% owner in. Anything that doesn't meet the customer's standards, we then provide to the local farmers who use it and feed their stock. Even the wastewater that we do have, that goes to the farmer's land as well, so nothing's wasted. We want to be ahead of the game before we're forced into it. It's not actually government regulation that will force it, it's the supermarkets we sell to say, this is what the consumer wants and this is what we have to do. So it's pretty simple, you go with what your customer wants. We're currently going through quite a, a significant process to say how do we remove our reliance on fossil fuels, but the key is we've still got to make a low cost operation, keep the product available at the right price so that that keeps the consumption up. We have got a big community here of Kiribas and Tuvalu team members. People don't understand the sacrifices they make to actually come down here. Just to get to, to Kiribati sometimes for these guys to register for the PAC scheme is a you know two or three day boat trip. You know, it's not easy. It's a great scheme and New Zealand should be supporting the Pacific. That's our sort of home patch. Without that community that we support, we wouldn't have a business that runs as well as we do. The relationships, the respect that people have for the business and for Hamish and Robin, it does work really well. coming from a, an office environment more so. I'm always blown away about the ability to jump on a bike and go and check the crop and talk with the operations staff. We're in 26 hectares of glorious crop. It's tangible, it's real, and you know it's only producing a good thing for New Zealand.